Welcome back to RTC, ladies and gentlemen. Joe's Craig, and today we're taking a look at the U.S. Naval and Marine Corps uniforms. That's right, we're going to have a look at both of these types of uniforms because they all link into each other quite well. So, before I begin, I want to say thank you for all the great support on this little mini-series of the uniforms of the United States Armed Forces, and I hope you've been enjoying them, and there will be a few more to go. And also remember to smash that like button if you do enjoy this series. It helps a lot. So let's take a look at the uniforms, shall we? And the first uniform we have on display is the Navy officer. Navy officers consist of three internal ranks. The first one being a admiral, i.e. the overall commanding officer of naval operations and marine corps operations in the area. The second being a commander, which they also are in charge of any marine corps operations in their area and report to the higher ups and relay orders downwards the command well downwards the chain of command they also are consistent of being in charge of naval stations or i.e any bases with a dock or naval port there also is the captain rank where they're in charge of a small vessel or a medium-sized vessel in the commonwealth i.e a lot of fishermen from the far harbor i.e. Bar, Bar Harbor basically, have became naval officers due to the fact that they have great skills as sailors, navigators, and leadership as well. They would be considered the most valuable asset to the U.S. naval operations and Marine Corps operations as well, with beach landings and general patrolling, or either supplying as well different bases along the Commonwealth that they can reach by river or sea, or any of the river inlets in Far Harbor which reach certain settlements as well. So these make these guys excellent additions to the United States Armed Forces. So let's talk about the next one, shall we? U.S. Sailors are next, and the U.S. Sailor is a counterpart to the Navy officer. They are lower in rank, but they're considered the workhorse of the crew of a ship. Uh, the commandant of a base or i.e. even the admiral himself. The sailors consist as a small security force i.e. a protection unit for the high-ranking officer that they're assigned to and also consist of far harbor fishermen once again like their counterpart of the navy officer but not as highly as trained or experienced as the navy officer would be. They do have a small arsenal of weapons consisting of a combat rifle and institute rifle repurposed. The institute rifle that we're using here is a repurposed model which is lightweight and it does a lot of damage against them and you know it fires enough rounds downrange to scare off any critter so they also are backed up by ballistic weapons as well just in case so this is pretty much it they do consist of one melee weapon for crowd control in case anything a uh, harbor would get you know kind of uh, uh you know a bit busy but yeah these are guys are the workhorse of the navy so let's move on to the next one shall we next on our list is the standard u.s marine the u.s marine is the backbone of the marine corps as they would be they are the first boots on the ground the standard riflemen and standard officers as well among the marine corps units they tend to have a very unique background a lot of the ncos and officers do come from far harbor with that unique terrain and environment alongside with fighting trappers as well has made them an essential part of the marine corps given that they are very well diverse in survival and coastal activities they are well trained in amphibious warfare now due to modernizing the minimen army and they are well trained in urban combat now not all marines come from far harbor they, they are some that come from the commonwealth and then are trained by the experienced marines in this situation they are, they are trained under the navy commander or captain or even the uh, captain mainly or trained by the NCOs or uh, officers within the standard Marine Corps branch, which then give the skills onwards and use them for practical use. Marines are trained in a diverse amount of weapons and explosives, so they always have different kind of classes when it comes to a Marine unit. They also are trained and very highly trained in melee weapons as well, knives, machetes, and yeah, general overall survival. So these guys are the best of the best to have as a standard infantryman or rifleman as well in your units for the Marine Corps. So with that, we're going to move on to our next class, well, our next uniform and class, which is going to be a bit of a special one. So shall we move on? 
Next on our list is the Recon Marine. The Recon Marine is a specialized version of the US Marine. These guys are tend to be on very a lot of covert operations and reconnaissance. These guys are well trained in sniping uh, close quarters to med medium range uh, medium range combat but they tend to stick with mainly silent kills these guys love their melee weapons they stick with like combat right and combat knives uh, swords uh, different kinds of explosions as well meat hooks as well being their personal favorite to really get at their enemies and using the well utilizing the Ripper as well. They're also very well trained in psychological warfare and guerrilla tactics, so they're the first ones you could really have. They're considered mostly the saboteurs of the group, where they would sabotage enemy positions, take out essential or leadership uh, personnel of the enemy forces, i.e. the tribal chief of a raider group or the lead super mutant, which would uh, send those forces in disarray. They favor suppressed weapons over loud and yeah they tend to be the bit of a badass of the group so with that we're going to move on to our next one which is an also a specialized marine as well so i hope you're going to like the next one and a lot of you guys have been wondering what this one looks like so let's move on next on our list is the assault marine the assault marine tends to travel with the standard marine as well but as support they tend to be medium to long range fighters and have a great amount of armor as well but mainly because of that armor they are also specially trained in eod so they do mop up explosives on un and unexploded explosives and hidden traps or la minefields they're especially trained in taking them out but they're also especially trained in the basics as well of engagement so they are trained with medium to short range rifles or submachine guns they do have training with melee and explosives as well since their eod background they do usually tend to carry a sidearm of a rapid or an automatic 10 millimeter marine pistol they are once again they're a very helpful branch with clearing up any obstacles in the way of the standard uh, marines and they do kick they do pack in some serious armor and firepower for a medium assault marine anyway so last but not least the last marine we're going to check out so let's check it out next on our list is the heavy assault marine the heavy assault marine is the basically the heavy weapon specialists these guys are the ones packing the most firepower out of their groups they do have tend to use gauze rifles mini guns uh, explosives and even the antiquated but you know not fa completely phased out original assault rifles which can be multi-purposed into a light machine gun or a long range lmg as well so as you can see here as it goes by on the screen these guys are intimidating so their whole psychological factor factors in they are very well trained with room clearing and bunker busting basically so these are the kind of guys you want to have going first due to their heavy armor and their high amount of firepower and rate of uh, rate of their firepower as well they are trained with basic um close quarter battling but mainly nothing really stands in their way after they rip their minigun off in a <laughs> an enclosed space so the best kind of guys you can have in your unit hi guys i hope you enjoyed that video i had a lot of fun making it i wasted so much paper trying to write down the lore and the idea how i would rank everything up but i hope you enjoyed it it took a it took a while but anyway Guys, I know I hate saying this, I really do, but you know, due to YouTube's algorithm system where everything's counted by views now, and not by views anymore, but by likes, if you mind hitting that like button. If you like this video or you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I, well, I'll see you next time on RTC. See you guys. Have a good one.